Yeah, hello, I'm Justin Porter. Welcome to my video. Uh, good news, the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are joining the redress system here in Australia. Now, uh, what the redress system is, it um, it is um, compensating victims of childhood sexual abuse. Uh, they will get a monetary payout from the Watchtower and an apology from the Watchtower. Now, in, here in Australia, Julia Gillard, who was a Prime Minister of uh, Australia back in 2012, she instituted the Royal Commission into Childhood Sexual Abuse. And um, it went from 2013, 2014, 2015 into 2017. And... Um, What's going to happen, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to join the redress system to compensate victims because they were very slow off the mark because the Scott Morrison government has threatened to take away their tax exemption, their charity status. If you're a charity, you don't have to pay taxes. So um, the bottom line is money with the Watchtower. So uh, it's going to cost them a lot more if they have to pay taxes because Watchtower has got billions of dollars. So they're going to compensate the victims of childhood sexual abuse. I think it's $150,000 each victim and an apology from the Watchtower. You can get the money through my gov, I think, but you have to restate your case and what's happened. So Jehovah's Witnesses, the donations that you give to the Watchtower are paying for child abuse payouts uh, and if someone if I if someone was to say to you or if I was to say to you oh could you donate some money to me because I have to pay for my sex crimes would you donate money I don't think you would so the Jehovah's Witnesses aren't being told where their donations are going to but they're selling kingdom halls behind Jehovah's Witnesses backs they're combining Kingdom Halls and uh, selling Kingdom Halls that Jehovah's Witnesses built free of charge and keeping the money to pay off these child sexual abuse claims. Now, so good on Julie Gillard, a lady Prime Minister, how good it is to see women in politics and women taking the lead. And... Um, so that's the case, and uh, Watchtower is going to join. They said they would join, and they have till March the 17th to actually sign up and notify the government. They said they will join, but they haven't notified the government yet. They have to notify the government, the Australian government, by the 17th of March. If they don't, uh, I think Scott Morrison will take away their charity uh, status and they will have to pay tax. They won't be tax exempt. So that's the 17th of March. Today's date is the 7th of March, 2021. So um, all you Jehovah's Witnesses out there who are listening, your donations are paying lawsuits and compensation for victims of childhood sexual abuse and watchtower since you know, here in Australia since 1950 we've had 1006 reported cases of childhood sexual abuse and it was in a database in Bethel in New York Warwick and not one case has been reported to the police here in Australia it's 1006 since 1950 so that w works out to about 43 uh, cases a year so so good on Australia I am proud to be Australia and um, when it comes to Watchtower uh, please don't touch the money so the money is pretty important so um, so a lot of good things on the news tonight I was watching on the news tonight they had the gay and lesbian Mardi Gras fantastic so good here in Australia, we don't have much coronavirus, so the gay and lesbian, lesbian Mardi Gras went ahead, good on them. And beautiful weather, it was a, it looks like they had lovely weather. 
Well, if God was angry with them, he would have sent lightning bolts down, but God didn't seem to mind, because they were all born gay and lesbian. And also, on another front, in Iraq, uh, the Pope, Pope Francis is in Iraq, and he's meeting up with the Ayat Ayatollah of uh, the Muslim world, and they're sitting down and having peace talks and uh, being more tolerant. So Muslims are going to be more tolerant of Christians and uh, because there has been a lot of attacks in Iraq from Muslims, killing Christians, uh, shooting them and blowing up their churches. And uh, if you're a Christian, any type of Christian in Iraq, your life is threatened by Muslim extremists. Well, the ISIS, ISIS. So the Pope and the Ayatollah of the Muslim world sitting down and being more tolerant. And they went to Ur, which is the city where Abraham, remember Abraham in the Bible, uh, we have three religions that have originated from Ur. We have Judaism, Islam, and Christianity all originating from the Middle East around Ur. So there. Now, so Jehovah's Witnesses, I hope they do contact the government. They have to contact the government. Like they, they said they will, but they have to sign papers and sign what they're going to do. If they don't sign papers and notify the government on the plan they're going to do, how they're going to compensate and how they're going to apologise. By March 17th, they will have their tax exemption taken off. So, um, you know. And in the Bible, it says, be in subjection to the superior authorities, which is the government. And also in the Bible, it says, pay back Caesar's things to Caesar, God's things to God. So if you have to pay taxes... Because I don't know, I mean, I don't think Jehovah's Witnesses are a charity because they practice the cruel shunning. They have a, a horrible blood do uh, doctrine where people are dying from not having blood transfusions. Uh, people are committing suicide because they've been shunned by their families just for the f fact that they've left the religion and they have the two witness rule if a child is molested they have to have two witnesses or it won't go through. I mean, how many children are molested? There's two witnesses. It's usually only one person doing it to a child. So um, so if Jehovah's Witnesses got rid of the silly blood doctrine, the shunning, just for leaving the religion, I mean, I know in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians, it says if someone's a fornicator, a liar, a drunkard, don't say a greeting. Uh, you don't have to hang with them. Uh, but when eight men in New York City tell you that you've got to shun your family because you no longer believe that they are God's channel, because didn't Jesus say he is God's channel? And um, not eight dudes in New York City if you don't believe that they're God's channel, you will lose your family and all your friends and so many people are committing suicide over this. And even if they did get rid of the blood doctrine and the shunning policy and the two witness rule, I would still not return to Jehovah's Witnesses because I believe they are a doomsday cult. Love Jehovah, worship Jehovah, or he's going to kill you at Armageddon. He's going to genocide you at Armageddon if you don't worship him. So I don't believe in that. Nobody knows the answers to life's mysteries. Nobody really knows what happens at death. So I'm very proud to be an Australian and I am going to sing the national anthem. Oh, Australians, let us oh, rejoice, our land is young and free, with golden soil and wealth at all, our land is girt by sea, with nature's gifts so beauty rare, of nature fun and free, all pages turn in every 
way, advance Australia fair. You may applaud.